Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, you all know we are Ryan. Pleasure to have you on always. Uh, yeah, MK Dons, I mean, pff, what happened there? Uh, I know a few changes, yeah. Ryan, but honest God, mate, it was. I don't know, I just like lost for words. It well, like sent to play when we were the well, last 15, 20 minutes in game for yeah. 70 minutes for me. Well, I don't know, it just didn't look like it was I, I, I recognize, it? mate. Yeah, Michael Duff's alluded to it as well. I'm saying it's just it just weren't good enough, not acceptable. No. Um, you know, I want to say it the, the real positive part of it was that the lads showed a lot of spirit to get back in because it fall one down, yeah, no one yeah. game really. Other than pride, I suppose, you know, mm. um, and she showed to Gaffer that can get back in. Um, and they did, they got back in and probably should have won it, to be fair. You know, we had enough chances mm. to win it. That strike by Nicky Cadden, that volley that he hit, went absolute. Sound. I mean, he, I think, mm. I think Keeper's hands must still be stinging now. <laughs> it's <laughs> <isn't> hard. Um, <coughs> it looked like it was flying in from where we were. But um, yeah, the first 70 minutes were possibly. It might be just because it was yesterday and it felt a bit raw, but I, worst I've seen us play all season, we were absolutely shocking. Mm. Even, mm. I know we got a goal in the first half, but that absolutely flattered us. We went one nil up and I thought, oh, yeah, all right. But we flattered us, O'Neill. We, we didn't play yep. well. Because I tell you now, True. the MK Dons were the best side in that first half and all by a mile. Mm. They had that mm. chance where they went round his stead and b- b- managed to get blocking because we're yeah. messing about with you know defensive errors. Then we had that header from that corner that he somehow stuck his arm out and managed to save it. Yeah. Because it looked for all well. Yeah. As soon as it left his head, I thought that were in it. Because I was right behind, him. sort of left hand. I was at left hand at, uh, as I was looking at pitch, I was at left hand side at goal behind. Mm. And it, well, we all were, weren't we? <laughs> but um, um, he's made that save. Um, and then he's made that save at the end of the first half when we've gone 1 0 up as well, where we've messed up again. He's managed to clear. We just didn't seem to be defending. We weren't closing them down when they were when they were on a break. We could not get down their wings. We did eventually, but we didn't seem. I didn't seem to want to. Everything was so slow and pedestrian, and yeah, the passes that were going astray. It it, it were it was shocking. It were, and I, I'm you know I'm glad Michael does come out and not like praise the perform. You know, he has praise the fact that the lads got back in, but he was mm. much more alluding to the fact that that weren't good enough and we didn't play well at all. Yeah, um, I mean it's like what you were saying, very pedestrianized. I mean. Watching it, and you you, you you see a certain amount of times they kept, they kept going for wing back rolls, we're playing balls through or around Cadden, and yeah. they were exploiting situation that Absolutely. you know, I thought Cadden yeah. were going in. I'm thinking, we're not learning here, we're not learning here. And time and time again, the amount of times I'm thinking, they're cutting in, they're cutting in, so just acting it. But again, it's like what you said, Via, it seems to be slow, second pick up at ball. I stood, like you said, Via pulled off some saves in the first half, and it could have been a lot worse. In first yeah, it day, in the second worse. half, when it went one one, I'm thinking, right, we're gonna it's gonna move up us up another gear, but it didn't. It just seemed to be not learning the lessons here, but just playing the same way. They looked like they were gonna score every single time they went forward for that first yeah. 20 25 minutes of that half. I couldn't believe what I was watching. We conceded four times in 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't think yeah. we've have we conceded four this season. I don't think we have, have we? <clears throat> I don't think so. And we concede for, and, and so. this is no disrespect to MK Dons because I tell you what, they, they played really well. And, I, you know, in a way, I feel a bit sorry for them because that, that win had it, it, it kept them in play, you know, and it, it kept mm. them in league, wasn't it? And it's mm. it's now going down to the last game, isn't it, for them? Mm. So I do feel a bit for them because they were flying and they deserved to be where they were. They were running rings around us. It was like, I kept saying, I kept saying to me, Sean, because it, it, looks, it looks like they're, you know, where the ones in relegation zone and they're the ones that are in playoff positions. Because they, they were they played us off park for the majority of that mm. game. Absolutely well, made us look like fools a lot of the time. They were getting in behind us, they were cutting in, they were getting shots off, they were you know, they, they were defending everything that we were throwing at them relatively easily. Um and then that start of the second half, they just they just they looked like they were gonna score every time they went forward. And they pretty much did, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, I mean, that yeah. third goal but, out, I mean I have to say that third goal were outstanding, what a finish. Um, a cracking you know, goal, wasn't it? That's just one of them, innit? But conceding on a corner for the fourth, um, too easy to Again, get. Again, this is not being that's learned, isn't it? Second goal, yeah, yeah the second yeah. goal where they cut through, where they cut through back at defence, they just mm. cut a line through, pull back, back post, tapped it in. Yeah, it's, it, it was poor, Neil. And we need to pull his finger out because we've not been great 
for a for a while now, and it's it's mm. not the time to be in a vein of bad form. Um, yeah, not when you've got the. Form, it's, it's in different form, isn't it? It's in different. It's in form. different. It's not. Yeah, it's unpredictable. It's played all right form. for most of the game against Ipswich, just but w- without being good enough. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, mm. yesterday were it that were a huge concern yesterday because I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. Um, um, very frustrating. Um, good to see him get back in. Um, you know when they. But again, it adds to the frustration, though, really, that if you think about it, because where were that performance earlier on in the game? Because as soon as we pulled his pulled finger out, they didn't know what to do with us. Mm. We were absolutely all over him. We could have, we, you know, if that if we'd have played like that from start, we could have got 10. Yeah. We were absolutely all over him. And they did, they, they, they were like rabbit caught in headlights, weren't they? Once we started to play the football that we can play, mm. but why did it take us to go 4 1 down? <laughs> before we, before we decided that right, this is the moment we actually need to start playing now. Yeah, um, I mean, for me, I, for for their final third attacking play, MK Dons and I could credit to them. They they were running, they, they were getting our defence from late problems. Aren't wingers yeah. are cutting in, and people say, yeah, but we've got we've had uh, Anderson were rested and Connell, and I'm not bothered. You've still got players, 15 players. What we'd all been saying all season, but at walking 20 uh, League One side. Yeah, and yeah, I, I get yeah. where people say that had minutes and miss over, but at the <laughs> end of the day, you got to forget that Kundi, until he got injured or whatever he was early on the season, he, he, he was more or less settled it back free. Then yeah. you look at like Luca Connell, I get that, but then when you're looking at Benson coming off, you're looking at Luke Thomas. So again, the, the players that are not like newbies, you know what it's all about. I don't think Luke, I don't think Benson's like an older midfielder, not not by any stretch of the imagination. I think yeah. that's where a lot of it is. I won't say not as a lot of his problems are coming from because it's probably unfair to him. But when you haven't got that older midfielder going back to try and stop their attacking play, and like you said, that goal on outside, I could have seen it a bit different to be a man on him, tracking back and closing him down. That's what yeah. we want, but what we're allowing him space to, uh, to exploit us. I mean, you look at such as like when Max Waters came on in second half, it seemed to be another firework in it, but bang, bang, bang. And I think what I've seen on social media is that he's uh, probably got man at match from a lot of Barnsley fans because it seems when he came on, he offered that a bit extra he did. for us. And Ollie Shaw, I'll tell you what, I was impressed with Ollie, Ollie Shaw. Shaw. Come on. Yeah. He's he's deceptively quick. He's really quick. He closes down, he's got good feet, he battles. I thought he did, I thought he did really well, Ollie Shaw, when he came on. Mm. Um, you know, it was good, it was good to see him get some minutes. And I, I you know, I'd I'd prefer to see him on than as than um Lone players because you know he's he, he is our player, isn't he? But so I was impressed. I, I was impressed with him, and I thought I, I would really have to say I think that Waters has probably underperformed of late when he's come on. You know, especially against Lincoln, he looked. I mean, when he come on against Lincoln, he just looked disinterested. Hmm. Um, you know, and as a tap force, just absolutely fell through the floor, didn't it? When them two come on when we're against Lincoln, yeah. when when they subbed when he subbed um, Norwood and thingy off, but. To be fair, he come on yesterday, Waters, and he were absolutely everywhere. He were all over the place, and he, he really put a performance. And you've got to, you know, you got to tip your captain and say, "Well done," because you know he got us back in game, didn't he? And he, he were in the right place at right time to get them last two goals. So, you know, fair, fair. Do you think Waters could feel aggrieved? Do you think Waters could feel aggrieved, Brian, and think, "Look, I know I, I've, I've, I've got my ability here. He went to MK Dons and scored, and obviously went alone at MK Dons last season." But do you think he, he's one of them kind of players? What does it like appreciate it more as if to say, right, playoffs are coming up, I've got a chance here to, you know, not getting too fine front, but a Wembley final, you know, Wembley final, I want to do that rather than some of his lone players kind of thing. I, I, you know, I want to be a kind of thing. He could see that fire, what he wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Why, why wouldn't it? But, you know, I think it looked like a man that had, you know, being given his opportunity, didn't he? And he's in, and he's come on and try to say that, that you know, start to stake his claim. Mm, um, mm. He looked very assured as well. Didn't look, he didn't, he didn't look to be lacking match fit, uh, match sharpness at all. So mm. I was really pleased with him. I, play, I thought he played. I think I really like that Barry Cotter as well. I know I've not yeah, seen much of him, but he looks, yeah. he looks a decent player. He's quick. Yeah. He's quick. He's skillful. He's trying to get forward. He's trying to do the right things. I, I like him. I think he's. I think he's. A, I think he's a really good option there at right back. A good find. You know? Yeah. 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 An absolute bargain. I think he's. I think he'll be a really good player. 
Um, I thought John Russell did well when he come on. You know, you've got to be playing. Mm-hmm. You got to maybe say well done to Michael Duff because the substitutions did make a massive difference, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, you Were know, you surprised that the one done a bit earlier, Ryan? Or yes, do you think it absolutely. Right time? Two one, yeah. it needed to happen. <laughs> mm. Yeah, a bit late, a bit late at four one, wasn't it? But yeah, at two at two one, yeah, I think it, it, you know we're going. To, you could see what was happening, and in fact, I said to I said to my son at two one, I was like, they're going to get four or five here if we're not careful, because mm. they mm. just look so we looked like look like we didn't know what we're doing, look like a completely different a, di- a completely different team to one that we've been watching most of the season. Yeah. So yeah, maybe that. Um, but yeah, the, 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 you know, the substitutions made the difference, didn't they? Um, when, when when they came on, we started playing like we could play. Um, mm. But I think we've just got to put it. There's well, no choice, is it, to put that to put that performance behind us because we need to do some of that and and pull his finger out because we can't be playing like that against big teams. Really? If you go four one behind against the likes of Bolton or Derby, mm. they're not going to let you back Different, in. <laughs> There's no way Different. they're going to let you back in. Yeah. Um, Different altogether. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, they'll they'll absolutely spank us if we play like that against them boys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm I, I mean, I'm looking. I mean, obviously it's going to be a week or Sunday. Uh, it's Peter at home. <clears throat> I'm looking at table now. That's not going to be an easy game. They're going to be coming here to win. They need to win, and all. They need all, to win. Oh, that yeah, they need to win for seventy four, and hope that Derby slip up because uh, Peter on seven spot on forty. Uh, sorry, Peter <clears throat> are on seven spot. On seventy four points, yeah, and Derby six spot seventy six. It's so just it's as tight win. as it can be, but it's, it's in it's in Bolton and Derby's hands now, isn't it? If they win, yeah, they're, they're I mean fine, Bol- Bolton seventy eight. So I mean they won yesterday. Derby drew yesterday, as did Peterborough. So again, it's going to be one of them where Peterborough come, we can't be. Yeah, I oh, think, I think like Peterborough might be disappointed with that result yesterday, nil nil at home. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we an opportunity for them. I imagine they're really frustrated with that because yeah. that was an opportunity with Derby slipping up. Yeah, um, it, 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 it was an opportunity for <clears throat> excuse me. It was an opportunity for uh, for Peterborough to have their own destiny in their own hands, where it's now not in their own hands. It's yeah, you know they've true. got to go out and win the game against us, but they've got to mm. hope that the other side slip up. We, and um, like you said, Veer, you know you touched on it. In playoffs, about who we play, who we might play going forward, what three one down, four one down. You can't allow that. And against Peterborough and all, we need to be on it for his own. We, we can't think, we just need to play our game. Um, absolutely. I can see some players coming back. Um, I think he's given him a, a you know a rest if we're gonna have a full week off, uh, probably the longest breath we've had for a bit. But listening and hearing Michael Duff's comments. Is going to be make sure that we're going to be working hard and training on Tuesday to right the wrongs. So I don't think it's going to be an easy week for him, is it? No, I think he said uh, Anderson's got a stomach injury. Hasn't he? Uh, he got yeah. a stomach injury in, in training, um, and he couldn't he, he couldn't even move yesterday. But he should he should repair quite quickly. So fingers crossed, he's back for next Sunday. But hopefully, more, more importantly, he's back for the playoffs. Hmm. Um, hmm. We missed him yesterday. Um, I think Luke will be fine again. He's just not quite there, is he? After the sickness bug. You know, it, yeah. it does affect, doesn't it? If you've had a sickness bug, it, it wipes you out for a few days. <laughs> so mm-hmm. Even after, you know, you can feel it, you can feel tired. So these guys need to yeah. be 100% to be able to perform at the level sure. they need to. Um, yeah, I, I, I personally feel that I understand why, why Duffy did what he did yesterday. Um, get some minutes in some at legs, you know, and, and, and rest a few players. But for me, we need to be playing the strongest side we can against Peterborough next Sunday. Do you think we what has Ali play when he came on yesterday? We, you know, and he changed it round. Do you think Duffy like said reward him and said, "Look, you did that. You started against Peterborough and get him up." Would you would you have what a start on against Peterborough? Um, it's one of no, them. Really. Uh, hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't think. Not that. The, not that. Now, because hmm. if 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 Luke Connell and and Adam Phillips are fine. Because Adam Phillips had a knock on calf, then he had, he had, a, he had a knock on calf in training on Thursday with uh, Michael Duff was saying. So if they're back, they've got to play. Not that I've got anything personal against Benson or Luke Thomas, but I just think those two are just that have been that bit better and they've been playing regularly. They've got, you know, I think they've been that bit better this season. So what about Watchers? Would you start him rather than sub? Um 
Potentially, but yeah, yeah, I suppose it, I suppose it could be argument with that. We it was Norwood back double yesterday as well, didn't he? But no, mm-hmm. Norwood got a brace mm-hmm. yesterday, so Norwood's got to start. It could be any one of those alongside him, I suppose, couldn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. If if for me though, if um, if Anderson's still not right for next Sunday, which fingers crossed he is, but if he isn't. I'd be tempted not to play Kunde. I know it sounds I don't want to be too harsh on the lad, but he would. You know, what I'd be tempted to do, and I'm glad you've raised this because I was just going to say about the defensive unit, but I'll let you have your set, and it's a good point. You I, raise I'd, I'd put Jordan Williams in at centre back and put Barry Cotter out on right. Snap. Just what I was going to say about me. Yeah. That's what I'd do because I just think yeah. we looked a lot better when we did that. Jordan, Jordan can play centre back. In fact, Last season, he had his best games where he was playing at centre back. He did, you know, right, back yeah, three. he did on right hand side at centre back role. Back yeah, three. he had his best game. In fact, in fact, when he were in that three. position, I thought he excelled. I thought he were brilliant uh, back yeah, in the season. Three. He won at stars at team, even though we've, we've yeah. got relegated, but he, he, he performed brilliantly. So he knows how to play that position. Yeah, and um, you know, and and I, I like you know Barry Cotter out on right with his pace and wanting to get in behind him. I think you know, I think he's he's got that long throw as well. He's, um, yeah. yeah. I think that'd be if 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 Anderson's not back, obviously. If Anderson's not back, no, no, true. And I agree um, with that. And it were interesting, yeah, I agree. And I think what you've got to think of like now is that yeah, we're in third spot. Yeah, we're not going to go anywhere. Uh, sorry, we're in fourth spot. We're not going to go up or down in from fourth. So fourth sounds is cemented. <laughs> Just a matter about that mentality going into playoffs. And absolutely, <coughs> a lot of Ipswich Town fans have been messaging me saying that. Your best side, what we've come up against, you've, you know, your intensity in the start of where. And I've, I've, I've seen some people like saying, oh, intensity, what we're showing, we've probably been, you know, we've burned the sense out kind of thing, we peaked too early and all this sort of where. But I think with Duff, Devaney, Patterson, all the rest of his team and background staff, is, they will not allow complacency to creep in. We've gone this far in season to say, do you know what? We missed out on automatic, we should have been back. Get your head around it, we're not. We're in playoffs. Yeah. You need to reset, refocus, because you don't want to just chuck it all away. I'm not saying they are chucking it all away, but you don't want to gain that mindset as if to say, we thought we should have been here, but we did all in here. Don't matter. Now we're in this situation, it is ours. It is in his own destiny now what we do. You yeah. either turn up and respect the opposition, no matter who we play, respect them both home and away, and then touch wood as a Wembley final at ending it. And people were saying, oh, we don't want to be playing this, we don't want to be playing that. Sometimes you've got to play the best of the best. You know, you can't go through life and think, oh, we don't yeah, want to do this one. Yeah. You, you know. We can't control who we're going to get in playoffs, can we? Because we can't control no. who's, who's going to finish fifth. We've just got to do his own thing, haven't we? It's out of our remit and we'll have to play whoever we play that finishes in fifth place. Yeah. That, that's it. And it's going to be Peterborough, Derby or Bolton. That's it. Uh, probably Bolton by looking at league. Hmm. Most likely Bolton. Is it going to be really hmm. tough? Yeah. Because we, you know, against Bolton this season, we won and lost one draw, one. Hmm. And they'll be thinking same thing. You know, it's been Possible. pretty equal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, they give us a bit of a thumping at um, at Oakwell, but there were obviously reasons behind that. You know, a poor refereeing hmm. decision very early on, basically ruined the whole game. So hmm. it'll be interesting to see what what what, what happens. Um, I think we've just got to get his get his edge into it. You know, it's almost like it feels like there's a bit of a hangover that almost like. Almost like promotion's gone, and it's not. It's just automatic promotion's gone. Promotion yeah. is still within our our grasp. It's still there. Yeah. We have still got the opportunity to get promoted this season. Yeah, um, yeah. It is like a hangover. Yeah, okay. and it, it's almost like it feels like it's over. It's like, well, yeah, we we we, we the, you know the Neely guys that Neely got there. Mm. And sort of that. That's what it felt like. Yes, it was almost like. They've resigned themselves to the fact that they're going to be playing League One football next year, and it's really mm. not the case at all. We've got a massive opportunity to get promoted back at the first opportunity. And if you look yeah. at sides like Wednesday, I mean, it, you know they've had two seasons in there now. Mm. Eventually, they might be having another because you know the cat two sides go through players, can they? So no, um, <laughs> you know Ipswich have been there four years. Yeah, some of them were down there for five seasons. To them. Exactly. So you know. We've got an opportunity to go back up at first first attempt, which is brilliant. And we need to, you know, they need to change. I think, I'm sure the mindset is there. It's, it's just, it didn't look like it yesterday. We just, we don't look, we didn't look like the side we have all season yesterday. We just didn't look like, yeah. you know, we, we look like we didn't have a clue at times. We're getting into attacking positions and not even getting ball into the box. Mm. 
Mm. There were times where we were getting in good positions, pass, 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 lose it, don't even get ball in the box. And it's unforgivable that. It's just not good enough. Whereas MK Dons were getting down wings and putting putting balls into the box and putting us under and and putting, jump, you know, yeah. putting us under pressure. You've got to move at pace. You've got to, you know, you've got to put you've got to attack at pace. Don't let them get back. Get in behind them, turn them up, turn them around. If you just get back and let them let them get settled and they get the defenders all in place, it's going to be much more difficult then, to get anything, you know, to get to get a you know a, a decent goal scoring opportunity. Mm. It just seems to be we just seem to be like so slow and waiting for that perfect ball and them looping balls into the box. Oh my god. How many times has <laughs> you know look yesterday crossing it in with just it's that looping ball with loads of backspin on it, just holds itself in air and it just swoops in. It's it's an absolute doddle for a goalkeeper. Mm. Mm. They can literally set themselves and go and get it. It's too easy. You know, a, a goalkeeper stood up with his arms in air without even having to jump. He's gonna be able you to that... he's gonna be much higher than a, any player that can actually jump up and get his head to it. So as soon as he yeah. takes a little bit off ground, it's easy, it's too easy for him. They need to be coming in at pace at right play, you know what I mean? Coming in at pace and 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 something we can get, you know, if we get a touch on it, it's gonna fly in. We're doing it against yeah, uh, it oh, we're doing it against um Oxford as well. She's like these looping balls into the box. It winds me up somewhat chronic. Because <laughs> it just <laughs> it's just not it, it, it's you don't you don't gain anything from it. It's so counterproductive to what to what you know how good attacking football's played. It's so slow and boring and and f- almost like really sort of weak and feeble. Playing, um, playing so, yeah, we need to <laughs> needs to be better than that in playoffs. Uh, so we're down and not out. Uh, we're still in playoffs, yeah. like Ryan said. All being well, go, come choose when we're back in training. We can work on some things, mix yeah. it up a bit. We know that people are going to be coming up. They're, they're going to be fighting to, for a win to, for that. Uh, like you said, uh, Destin in their own hands kind of thing, relying on others. Uh, but again, we're in playoffs. We need to just send exactly. down, we need to reset, refocus. Um, let us know your comments below as well. You know, fans what have travelled, let us know what you are taking it. I think we've all seen them, we've all, you know, watched what we wanted to do. The only positive we can get out of it is that we come back, which is something what we, we haven't done for quite a while, especially when we've been down like that. We've come back, we've got a draw. Could have been worse for the staff, like what Ryan touched on earlier. If you want for this to pull on some great saves, we could have been down even at half time, a bit flattering, but we won no in front. Exactly. But when second half they come out 4 1, yeah, we fought back. But again, it shows you mentality of it duff making these substitutions. He went accept it. And I think we're allowed Rocky took the backsides in the dressing room. No I doubt. He did. No in duff. <laughs> I absolutely uh, bet he did. But yeah, you know, the, the, so, the positive is moving into the next game, Neil, is that we did get back into that game. That's the pod, like yeah. I said uh, right at the start of the um of the program that the we got back into it, and that shows a lot of spirit from the side. And they should take that positivity. And it was good that they got back into it. That was good. Yeah. And it was good for the fans as well, you know, that were travelled all that way and come in the fancy dress and stuff like that to get some out of yeah. it and see it score for. So that's that's a positive to get back into it. But that is literally the only positive because the yeah. like, first 70 minutes were dross. Um, yeah. And then I thought, you know, I'm sure they don't need anybody to tell them that. I'm sure Michael no, Duff and his, uh, his, his team, them, um, No in certain terms, terms he'll, he'll let yeah. him know. <laughs> uh, Ryan, as always, it's been a pleasure having you on, mate. Some uh, great thoughts and great insights and great tech on stuff. Uh, Pre-looking at the Peterborough game as well as uh, playoffs as well, what's going to happen there. Uh, so, everybody what's been watching, please like, subscribe and share. Let us know your comments. Let us know your thoughts. Uh, Ryan, thanks for being on, mate. Appreciate it. Uh, and everybody, have a good uh, rest of Bank Holiday Weekend. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>